What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am coming to you with a very, very different type of episode. Um, I did not want to steal DWS's thunder from his Hog Rider series because he is doing an absolutely fantastic job with that. But let me kind of uh, set the setting here for you. Um, a good friend uh, and uh, old Invicta member uh, actually got promoted to core at the same time as myself. Uh, we both got brought in as recruits and promoted to core together. Uh, I miss the guy dearly, Boone. Uh, he left because of time constraints, you know, being involved in... Um, a hardcore war clan it's very time consuming right and if you start failing a few attacks and feeling like you're not putting enough preparation to your attacks it, it can put a lot of stress on someone so sometimes you just want to step back and, and just war and just have fun with the game so totally respect that but totally miss you boone uh so boone actually reached out to me recently um just because he had a nice attack that he wanted me to record so asked me i swear to god cat i swear to god this cat, she doesn't learn. She cannot sit right here. Oh, driving me insane. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Boone asked me to record an attack for him uh, just so he could have it uh, recorded for himself. And I came in to check his mini clan out and was very impressed, actually. They have only been a clan uh, for not even two months. Uh, they're a three-star war clan, uh, just Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 8s at the moment, I believe. Um, and honestly, uh, was very impressed. You know, they're working on a lot of very basic uh, Town Hall 9 core strats, which is awesome. I saw a lot of Shattered Goho, some Stone Gohos. Um, you know, the Town Hall 8s are rocking it up using hogs. Uh, some guys using dragons, but that's, you may as well, a Town Hall 8. But, um you know, I was really impressed with these guys. So let's just hop on over. I want to show you a little bit about them. Uh, their name was Breaks. Uh, already level three in uh, not even two months. So good for them. 19 wars won and zero wars lost. The green straight uh, down the board. So that's kind of what impressed me here. Uh, it's very difficult to start a clan like this um, and just start having green right off the bat. Uh, so I was really impressed. And, you know, uh, guys, if you want... Uh, if you want a similar style video to this, please apply to uh, Do Work Sons uh, Hog Rider series. Uh, it is a bit of an extensive list. Uh, I'm kind of fitting these guys in because they're a brand new clan. They wouldn't even really uh, probably have applied for something like the, uh, the Hog Rider series, right? Um, that's more for up and coming. Um, I should. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to take any, anything away from Brace because they're definitely an up and coming war clan, but they're still in the earlier stages. I would say that most clans that would be applying to the hog rider series so guys check out the website uh we just redid everything you know uh onehiveclan.com is one hive 2.0's uh website all of our content is on there everything on there is 2.0 related so uh just so everyone is clear uh we did have uh, kind of a couple weeks layover uh, after the split from 1.0 uh, which, by the way, the mon uh, video is getting done Monday, which is tomorrow. Today, today is Sunday night. So uh, we're, uh, me and Kev and Nemo and DWS are all getting together. We're going to have a chat. We're going to explain everything. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but really just want to edify this breaks, uh, this breaks clan a little bit because I was very impressed. Like I said, green all the way down the board. Fortunately, that Heroes uh, for War, I, most of the replays got wiped from that update. Uh, but I'm going to hop right in here. They're about to be 20 and 0, by the way, because it looks like they're doing really well in their current war as well. Um, you know what? I'm just going to quickly flip back over to this because one thing that I really like, 100% fair play clan. Uh, see, December 1st, 2015, you know, recruiting TH8 to 9s only. Uh, must use the three-star strategies as well, and they definitely all are practicing their three-star strategies and having some serious success. Um, you know, so good... Sh good uh, <laughs> You know, good sportsmanship, I'd like to say as well. Uh, just hats off to breaks. You know, uh, you guys are doing it right, starting from the bottom up and really building uh, what looks to be in the future to be a solid war clan. So keep it up, gentlemen. Uh, like I was saying, I did lose a lot of replays from that Heroes for War. So I'm just going to jump in because there's a lot. They had a near perfect war, I believe, here. Or did they have a perfect war? Yeah, sorry, perfect war um, against this war elite clan. 
Uh, it's a really, uh, really nice replays to show in here. I'm just gonna rip through a few of these guys. Uh, I got a few nines to show you, and I'm gonna show you one eight because I don't, definitely do not get to show a lot of Town Hall eight content. Uh, although that is gonna be something I'm trying to focus on at least every now and then, showing some Town Hall eight strategies other than dragons, uh, mainly hogs that you can kind of, kind of learn how to do at the Town Hall eight. And then it, the best part about that is it carries over to Town Hall nine. Um, one thing that I didn't have the luxury of uh, was getting to learn that I went from dragons to go wipe and struggled. Um, you know, if I had known about hogs and upgraded my hogs right away, I think town hall nine at first would have been a lot more interesting to me. Um, but I really, really struggled and that's ended up, uh, how I ended up in one eye because once I did a little research and figured out what I was doing wrong and why, uh, you know, via Jake's videos. So. Uh, you know, I uh, I do give uh, do give a lot of credit to Jake because uh, he did bring me to where I am today, right? And um, doing stuff like this, I really like seeing clans like this because they are teaching these younger town hall nines what is the right three star strategy. So we are gonna start uh, start this off with Boone's hit on number one, my boy Boone, the queen charge, of course. Boone was always doing the queen, uh, queen charges. He was our he was our go to guy in Invicta for if you were planning a queen charge, you were asking Boone what to do because uh, he really really uh, exemplified everything that is perfect about the queen charge. Take a look at this. I love the spell comp. All earthquakes, three rages. <laughs> thought that or uh, thought that was really cool. So opens up this huge section of the base. Got to have some recap juice. Huge section of the base is open. This queen is going to walk right into here. Uh, basically take out the entire core section of this base. Now, if you walk, look at the scout of this base, you kind of guess there's a quad Tesla behind the town hall here. Pretty standard. Um, you'd also guess there's probably some bombs in these compartments. Um, primarily, the queen does not trigger them, but all the defenses are dead. Uh, so, boom brings 21 hogs kind of on the back end here. Uh, just really needs to make sure this queen charge is going good. That's what these three rages are for. Just going to rip this queen through the base, actually. Um, no poison for the CC, so he does have to burn the ability there and a second rage. Uh, gets the dragon just in time. If the dragon had taken a few more buffs on those healers, it could have been trouble, uh, but no big deal. Uh, Boom goes ahead and drops a couple giants to do some tanking, uh, basically from the 10, 11 o'clock position all the way up here. Sends in hogs on each of the point defenses on the outside there. Feeding all the hogs in. Really, once the hogs get in here, they're gonna help out with the Teslas, but Queen is in there, takes out uh, that defensive Queen or sorry, defensive king, I should say, uh, and continues to work on the Tesla farm, right? Uh, <laughs> Might have got a touch lucky just with how everything was. You know, that sweeper was blowing everything back. I don't even know why I'm wearing this headset. I was listening to stuff earlier and doing a little video editing, and I honestly forget it's on. I don't even need it for my recap, so... Um, but as you can see, everything is working out just fine. Uh, I was saying the queen, queen got a little lucky with that queen because when a queen walks into a quad Tesla, uh, even with the rage, it can be trouble sometimes. Uh, but that level 30 queen is just a beast. Uh, one other thing I would like to point out about this attack by Boone is he has no king. <laughs> so beautiful attack, Boone. Clean up time. Oh. Tree star is in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Right. Check number two is a gunslinger. Two versus two. Uh, another kind of standard form base here. Uh, so gunslinger brings a very standard attack. Four heals <laughs> in the bag. Recognize that there is not one place for a double giant bomb. So if you can figure out a plan like gunslinger does here to get the defensive queen and pull that CC out, you just need hogs from that point and four heals, right? Because you can heal over all the bombs. Um, but as you can see, golems go in, creating that funnel. The wall breakers, I, I don't think he meant for the wall breakers to go there, obviously. I hate wall breaker AI myself. They are my enemy. Uh, but poison goes down, take care of those CC troops. There is a section of the base open, so he just needs to drop a, a jump over top that mortar. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have a jump. Uh, but the queen, my bad, the queen jumps out over the wall and his queen takes out the queen because his king starts to walk there just because of the wall breaker fail. Um, but honestly, everything worked out just fine. All he needed to do is get that CC pulled and get the queen dead. And that's exactly what happened. So sends in, you know, probably like a three finger drop on all these defenses. First heal goes down. If you're bringing four heals, guys, use them like uh, Gunslinger does here. 
Second heel goes down, keeping all those hogs up, right? There's only two wizard towers, two cannons, and an archer, two archer towers remaining, and still two heels. That other one goes down, so he's got one more left. Sorry, that Tesla's there as well, but he's got one more heel for this last section of base. Kind of doubles it up, too, and drops the poison as well to help take care of those skellies. I thought that was a really good move. So, nice job, Gunslinger. Even though you had that bit of a wall breaker fail, kind of kept your composure, ended up taking out the queen. The kill squad did their job. Send in those hogs for heals because recognize there are no there's no DGBs to worry about, right? If there's no DGBs, as many heals as many hogs as you can with completing those goals of taking out the CC and taking out the defensive queen, you're gonna win almost every time. So look at that bomb placement. Bombs on the outside of the base. What is this guy thinking? Gunslinger takes him to town. Nice job, man. All right, Mr. Nassan. Shatter Goho, another four heel attack. And guess what? No spots for double giant bombs. So takes the CC lure, drops the double poison. Uh, needs to drop that other one to get the. Oh, he's got the dragon there, so that's good. Uh, does a bit of delay. Does he not double poison? Maybe he didn't watch that. I watched him and kind of fast forward. So no, I guess he's hanging on to this poison here. Um, which is fine. I do this somewhat frequently. Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes. No big deal. Little bit of a delay on that one, but. Dragon is dead, taken care of. CC's gone, so he really just needs to take care of that defensive queen. Um, which he's got five wall breakers. He's going to open up, I believe, this section of wall. And the queen hops the wall, and then he has access to her. Boom, there it is. Two more to they get through. Yeah, sorry. This little arch tower. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought happened. So the defensive queen hops in by that expo. Little bit of a funnel is created, but that king just goes right in there, takes out that queen. One little thing, Mr. Nassan, I would have dropped heavier wizards kind of on these storages here just to ensure your king didn't take a walk there and he walked right into that queen. Uh, but hey, three stars, uh, three star attack hard, hard to uh critique that. Nice job so far. Queen is dead, CC is dead, and guess what? Here comes a two finger drop on the hogs. Really just recognizes a lot of defenses here. Immediately drops the heel. And those hogs are just going to rip through all those defenses. Two Teslas, the Expo, the Archer Towers. Bam, bam, bam. Everything going down. Another heel goes down over that cord. Make sure that Tesla is healed. King's in there kind of whacking away on some of those hogs. But it doesn't matter. He's just got so many of them. Another heel down. Take care of the hogs at the 12 o'clock. Everything moving in in this last kind of area. One more heel is down few more defenses and apparently that video is done <laughs> sorry about that guys <laughs> definitely not restarting this video though because of that <laughs> but cleanup episode is saved and ready to upload and mr nassan is on cleanup so sexy job buddy a little more trash to go and that'll be your three stars in the bag king goes down wizards helping out one hog left. Just in time. Tree stars. Nice. All right, so those were the top three there. You know, a lot of the a lot of these were shattered and stone gohos. Um, really good job, gentlemen. Just kind of clearing all the bases here. Did a one. Yeah, I want to show this one. This is a nice little uh, town hall eight hit uh, on a on town hall eight. I like showing these. Uh, like to show a shattered Goho Town Hall 8. Because this isn't the easiest thing to do. One thing about Town Hall 8 is you have to remember that makes it very difficult. Is you don't have a jump spell. So when you're base building for Town Hall 8, keep that in mind. When Town Hall 8s are hitting you, they're not going to have a jump. So you can kind of create your walls in, in you know, to be honest. this it, Although this flower design sucks because it's symmetrical and shitty. <laughs> um... The walls specifically uh, are really good because you know you're not going to get through more than one layer of wall on the outside via wall breakers. Um, so it kind of limits you your attacker's options, right? Uh, but high quality goes in here like a boss. Golem's in, uh, cold-blooded, one golem. King goes in to help things out. Just really going to take out a bunch of these defenses. Wizard's in, backing everything up. The CC got lured and taken care of with the double poison. So everything is looking fine and dandy at this point. Here come the 20 hogs. Two finger drop on these two little compartments. And then I like that he saved four or five hogs. Oh, and he had some in the CC. So it was really almost like a three finger drop. 
And the way he broke this base down is it almost separates it because it's symmetrical into these four little quadrants. So kill squad takes quadrant one, two finger drop takes two and three, and then the CC with the few he saved takes quadrant four, everything meets up in the middle. Just a beautiful job, couple heals down, still has three wizards and a bunch of cleanup troops on the outside. Oh, he did lose, <laughs> so close. <laughs> what a weird place for a DGB. I guess looking at it, that's where it's gotta be. So kind of unfortunate you lost 99% of your hogs uh, to that DGB, but it didn't matter. You had so much cleanup left. High quality with the TH8, TH8 triple. Nice job, man. Great, uh, great little shattered goho there, man. So you know what, guys? You're looking for an entry-level war clan. Um, these guys are serious about what they're doing and what they're building here. Uh, seems like a very tight-knit group of guys. Um, they do have a lot of members. Uh, they're working towards having, you know, larger wars, continuing this crazy war streak that they have. Uh, like I said, about to get their 20th win. Um, so check them out. Um, breaks, like I said. Uh, it's, I don't know if you have an Android. I had to, for me to find this plan, you had to actually go into the symbol and find that little E. If you do BRE, it's the very top one. Um, and I, I'm not a hundred percent. Uh, if uh, it looks like they, like they accept in-game maps, as long as you're, uh, a, a, a not rush town hall eight or town hall nine, check them out. Uh, you'll get a bit of a tryout. Uh, like it says here, you know, you got to show uh, a war style replay once you get in there. So I imagine how that works is once you join the clan within 24 hours or so, you're expected to post a couple replays of some war style attacks, whether it be a Shattered Go, Shattered Lalo, Valks, whatever you're kind of doing. Um, and you just want to impress them with your replays. They'll give you a shot at a couple wars. And then you'll be in. So uh, really good entry-level war clan here, guys. Um, been talking with these guys for a little bit this evening and uh, seem like an awesome group of guys. So, hey, breaks, keep it up. I want to see that win streak go up to 50. 50 and 0 is your goal here. <laughs> good luck. But um, as you guys grow in strength, obviously the clans you face are going to grow in strength too. But looks like everyone here has a grasp of the three-star strategies and you're practicing them and uh, having some serious success. So, uh Hats off breaks. Uh, I am going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help everyone beg that next three star. Until then, I'm out.